Hello. For today's video, we're in the German city of Wuppertal, in this tiny little city hidden, hidden among the mountains, you can find, if not the most, one of the most peculiar means of transportation in the world. Wuppertal is a tiny city sandwiched between the mountains and the state of Nordrhein-Westfalia in Germany. We reached Wuppertal by a long way through the mountains. When we reached the city, this was the first thing that we saw. <laughs> well, you might be asking what's with this train, so let me briefly explain. At the end of the 1800s, Wuppertal was gaining tremendous popularity due to the ever-growing industry. The traffic problem that started to manifest itself in the city, mostly because of horses and carriages, was even noticed by Wilhelm II, the emperor of the period. Therefore, it was desired to establish a public transport system in the city. At first, a subway train was planned, but this plan was quickly abandoned due to the cramped city settlement in the city, which is already built on a very small area and the limits of the construction industry at the 19th century. Instead, Eugen Langen, one of the entrepreneurs of the time, proposed an airborne train or the Wuppa River, which runs through the city. This train was built in the late 1800s and was put into use in 1901. Yes. 1901. The flying train, whose travel time between one end to the other is approximately 30 minutes and is still in use today after more than 100 years and carries approximately 25 million passengers per year. 